guys, it's Cindy. I'm going to do a quick haul. This is my birthday haul and also um, just a few things I bought recently that I really liked. So it was my birthday a month ago and um, I got a few things. The first thing was something I bought myself. I always buy myself a present <laughs> to treat myself and I got these Tiffany's studs. I'll just show you. They're really, really cute. They're like an oversized um, return to Tiffany's heart. I'll just... Uh, give you that close up and I bought these on eBay because they don't make them anymore you can't buy them at Tiffany's um, they make a smaller size but the reason why I like these was that they kind of hang um, over your earlobe and um, that's what drew me to them because I'm not like a huge fan of like logoed stuff I'm sure you've heard that before in my videos but I do have a couple Tiffany pieces I really love their silver collection just think the quality of it is great and it's really I wouldn't say it's affordable but it's attainable the luxury of, of shopping there is so lovely and you get treated really well and the packaging and just the whole experience is just amazing and if you've never been to the one on Fifth Avenue in New York you should definitely go and just experience that because it was really awesome and I bought um, a couple things when I was there a couple of years ago but um, yeah I love these they're supposed to be around like a hundred and twenty hundred and thirty dollars but I got them for eighty so I was really happy with that and then from my sister I got a ring it's this owl ring really cute from Aldo so yeah really inexpensive they still have them um, they have them in silver as well um, it's really really cute. I got a lot of compliments on that and my mom also purchased this charm for me Which is uh, the best friends logo. It says that on the back. It's all silver I just put it on my actually my Tiffany's bracelet Really really cute and um, I just love that the meaning behind it because the money goes to support best friends animal sanctuary Which is my favorite charity and uh, it just reminds me of the time um, that we spent there my mother and I when we went to Utah to volunteer so it just reminds me of that and it was such a great experience I had like probably one of the best trips I've ever taken and uh, I'm so looking forward to going again to Utah hopefully next spring my mom also gave me some money and so did my boyfriend and with that I bought something that I've wanted for so long. They are the best shoes in the world. They come in little dust bags because they're pretty um, expensive. <laughs> and they are these shoes here. They are by Isabelle Morin. She's a French designer. She's my favorite um, fashion designer. Uh, her, along with her line in Mulberry, those are my two favorite fashion lines. So I was really excited to finally get a piece of her collection because I don't own anything by her yet. And they're gorgeous. They unzip here. So you can wear them kind of with the zip open, but um, even with the zip closed, it's very flattering around your ankle. It doesn't make um, your legs look short or stumpy. They really look beautiful um, with skirts or with jeans. And the color is gorgeous. It's like a gray suede. Um, there's great detailing. The heel is really manageable, but it does give you some height. Toe is really cute. Very, very comfortable, um, gorgeously made. They're all leather inside. Um, I can't say enough good things. They really are the best shoe I own. And yes, they're the most expensive shoe I own, but I will get so much wear out of them. Kate Bosworth wore these to Coachella this year. She has them in like every color. They do come in a different finishes. You can still buy these online, but they're not this season, so they're hard to find. Um, I bought mine on Danny Boutique. I had a great experience with them. I did pay a lot of duty, but I mean, I was shipping from the States, so it's hard to avoid. Okay, some other just things I bought recently. That is this t-shirt. It's from American Apparel. It's just a cropped pocket striped tee. It's probably my favorite thing they've ever made next to like their gray jersey v-neck. It's so cute on. It's really flattering. Um, each shirt is kind of unique so they're all made of different materials but they're all striped so it depends like the fit of them depends on the material that you end up buying mine I don't put in the dryer so it didn't shrink and it's a little bit longer than most a friend of mine at work has one that is much much more cropped um, it's more like a belly shirt on her uh, I prefer this size it's a little bit more figure um, <laughs> I don't want to say figure flattering because it totally depends on what the figure you have um, it's a little bit more uh, covered up. So yeah, love this. It's around $35, I think, um, but really 
cute. And it's nice that you don't have the same, exact same one as everyone. Then I did an order with Madewell for the Alexa Chung collection, and I bought um, three pieces, one of which I'm returning when I go to New York on Sunday. Um, I bought a dress, the Betty T dress. It's a polka dot silk. Really beautiful. I've posted pictures of Isabel Lucas wearing it on my blog, if you want to check it out. Um, but it, I bought the cream version, and it's a little too sheer and too thin uh, for the money I paid for it. It was $188 American plus shipping and taxes and all that. So it was not cheap. It's like as thin as a silk scarf, which, I mean, for that price, it just... I always have to layer it. I always have to wear a slip with it because it's see-through. And um, it just seems like not worth the money. So I'm going to return it um, and hopefully find something else cute at Madewell instead. But I did end up buying two t-shirts from her collection that I absolutely love. The first one is in a size medium, so you can wear it with leggings. It is pretty long. And it has a bear on it. I hope you can see this. Um, and it says, I can't bear it. It's really cute. And it's kind of like a slubby cotton. So it's really nice material. Um, very soft. And I love the longer sleeves. Really, really, really nice t-shirt. They're not cheap, but they're very well made. And then I got um, a small, which is more for jeans. And it's got a Tyrannosaurus Rex on it. And it says, girl, this is my favorite one. I love it. So the only other thing I wanted from the collection was the bat t-shirt dress. Of course, it sold out before I even had a chance to buy anything, so I didn't get it, but if I do end up finding that when I go to New York, that's one thing I'll definitely be picking up. It's okay. Recently, I went shopping last week, and I went to Ritzia to kind of, again, try to find the new fall stuff. Of course, most of it's not out yet. Um, I picked up this t-shirt. Well, it's like a long sleeve, ribbed, black tee. You probably can't see any details on because of the lighting, but it's really long, so you can wear it with leggings, but you can also wear it kind of scrunched up because it's very um, form-fitting. It's by the brand Lanston, which I believe Kate Moss wears because I've heard of it before. Um, and it's just so comfortable. It's a rayon blend, I believe. So it's, um, it's figure flattering and forms to the body, but it's not like tight. It doesn't kind of cut into you. It's very nice on, which is why I bought it. It wasn't cheap. It was around $60. But cheaper than Kane or Alexander Wang and um, something I'll definitely get a lot of wear out of. And then I picked up these leggings, which Aritzia's had for a couple seasons now. I've never bought them before because I thought the flowers would be not flattering. But I tried them on and I actually really, really like them. And I'm going to bring these with me on my trip. They're so cute on. And uh, I love them. And these were $30. They're just the um, Tallulah brand. <clears throat> okay, and lastly, the reason why I went shopping last week was to buy these boots. They're from Aldo. They look like this. If you follow my Twitter or my blog, you've seen them already. They're kind of um, like a Timberland work boot slash clog style. Really, really cute. Very comfortable. They're a little bit hard to walk in. Um... Not because they're too high, but because they kind of are very, they're heavy. Um, but I really like them, and they look very cute with jeans and with dresses. Um, I would really recommend them. They were 140 Canadian. And for once in my life, with all those shoes, I didn't have to size up. They were actually, um, these are size 8, and I usually wear an 8.5 or a 9, so... That was kind of surprising. There's a couple shoes actually coming out from Aldo that I really want. They have some velvet heels coming out that are gorgeous. So, um, yeah, I'm really loving Aldo at the moment. But these are fantastic. So if you see these, definitely give them a try. Really, really cute and very unique. I don't, haven't seen anything like them in any other stores. So, yeah, love those. Well, that's the end of my video. Um... I hope you liked the haul, and I'll definitely have a big haul coming up from New York, although I'm <laughs> trying um, not to go too crazy and stay in budget. I'll try to shoot some fun, like, follow videos when I'm there as well. I'm going with another girl from work, so hopefully she won't mind um, helping me film some stuff. But if I can't film anything, I'll at least have lots of pictures on my blog. So check it out. Um, I'll be back next weekend, and... Um, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.